We wanted to get more about all of this, so we are now joined by Rahira Durgam. She's a columnist and senior diplomatic correspondent for the London-based daily Al Hayat. It's wonderful to see you again. Thank you. Wonderful to see you. The uh, agreement, it was a very public ceremony of the signing, and yet that agreement had not been finalized. There was still more work to be done. So what are the prospects, do you think, for the Iraqis to approve this? I believe it would be approved before the end of the year because the Iraqis need it. So does, so does the United States, obviously, because this agreement is about organizing the continued presence of the American forces in Iraq for the next three years. People have the wrong impression that this is an agreement about the withdrawal of American forces. Well, in fact, it's the withdrawal of the forces from only the cities and they would be still in Iraq. What do you make of this very large protest that we saw today organized by Muqtada al-Sadr? Muqtada al-Sadr got it, if you will. He understands that this agreement legitimizes uh, in a bilateral uh, agreement the continued presence of the American forces in Iraq and he wants to make noises. He doesn't like that he is not in power but I don't think he's going to be the one who is going to stop the signing of the agreement. After all, this is a Shiite government in power. I think that the difficulties are from the Sunnis. The Sunnis are thinking, well, what about me? Uh, this agreement really is about the Shiite power enhanced, plus the resources of Iraq, you know, divided. So what about us Sunnis from their point of view? If we give up our power and our resources, where will we be? They need more guarantees that they are not going to be sidestepped or sidelined. And that's probably the crux of the fight over this agreement. And then we find out Iran is very much in favor of this agreement. They like that. Why? Iran likes that because Iraq ruled by Shiites is something Iran wants. Iran also uh, has its wings uh, clipped recently, if you will, because of the oil prices being in decline. And therefore, they would really like to play it cool and quiet for the time being. And thirdly, I think uh, the fact that President-elect Barack Obama is coming into power is an opportunity for the Iranians to say, you see, we can deal. You know, they, they really are sending a signal. But in the final analysis, it's the Iraq they would rather have rather than the Iraq that's divided or not ruled by a government, the Maliki government, which is, after all, Shiite, and uh, so are the Iranians. And very quickly, the Arab League basically said they wish they'd been consulted on this. So what is the regional outlook for this plan? Look, the Arabs would like to know what's in Iraq, and actually they can play a role. The Saudis can play a very important role because of the Sunnis in Iraq. And I think it's important not to sideline the Arabs when it comes to the future of Iraq. Yes, Iran should be consulted because it's a neighbor, but so do the Arabs. And they feel like, you know, it's been long due. It's about time. Rahira Durgam, thank you very much for joining us. I thank you.